Hey guys, and welcome back. So I have some leftover resin from my last pour in this cup over here. And I want to put it in this mold, but before that I need to demold it. So this is the mold I've been using all of my leftover resin in from multiple projects for like the last like probably month and a half. <laughs> so we're gonna, it makes like a rock type paperweight. So we're just going to kind of peel back. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so here it is. I actually love this, especially this layer of glitter from, um, this has three different layers of Jeffree Star. Um, it has the gold pressed glitter, then it has um, either Dog Mom or, I'm pretty sure it's Dog Mom or Wand Noise, it's one of the two. And then it has a layer here that is the black and the self-made pink together. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I'm hoping you can, but it's really pretty. Um, let me see if I can move this. Um, so I guess it's going to sit like that and it has these really beautiful edges. I will have to sand this down some and then there's some bubbles here that didn't quite go out. But other than that, I think this is a gorgeous piece. I'm super happy with that piece. Before I put anything in here because I did fold it out and touch it with my fingers, and you chance the oils on your fingers getting in there. Um, I found that out with the cloth one. If you don't clean your fingerprints out of your molds, your fingerprints will transfer onto the mold itself. Um, I found that out the hard way with the clock one. So we're gonna wipe it down. And we're going to give it just a minute to air dry on the inside. And then what we're going to do is, while that's air drying, we're going to take this leftover resin that I have. I'm going to move this out of the way so it doesn't get resin on it. And we're going to mix it with either, well, I need to do one color because that is what it is. I think I want to do the red color shift because that's not something I would normally do and it's a little weird for me so let's do that. Just going to add a little bit because you only want a tenth of your paint. That stick is very sticky. Just got resin on my hands. So I'm going to pull another stick from the people who were on my live. Um, Everybody got entered into a contest, and I did names on sticks instead of on paper. So this one is Libby Chicken Ranch. So Libby's Chicken Ranch, thank you for tuning into my live the other night and showing your support. And this is my way of showing my support to you and your channel. Her channel will be linked below in the description. And if you guys have time, just go check out her channel. Um... She's got some really good videos from her, like, homestead, homemade chicken ranch. Um, get to meet all the chickens. Um, she does some crocheting also. Um, I think she also quilt. I feel like she does quite a bit of stuff. Um, so I really like her channel. I like this color. It almost has an orangey feel, and then you see like some purple highlights in it. So I like that. So make sure you scrape the sides and scrape the bottom. And it's mixed really well. Okay, this has, looks like it's pretty well dry. So now I'm just going to pour my leftover resin in there and start another resin piece with this one. I really like this mold. I probably should get two or three more of the different shaped rock forms because I really like the way that one worked. 
I wasn't sure how I'd like it, but I actually did. Just gonna get, jab it a few times towards the bottom, make sure we get any of that big bubbles out. I set that aside and I am going to torch it. You just have to be really careful. And I have resin on my torch also. So, I now have resin all over my hands. Um, you just have to be careful when you torch not to melt your mold and just do little bursts because you also don't want to make your mold kind of stick to the resin and I've had that happen before and then you can just lightly tap And that helps raise the bubbles to the top. You give it a little bit of time, let the bubbles raise again, and then continue to torch. And I'll do that probably for the next 30 to 40 minutes just to make sure that it's all good. And then after that, I'll set it to the side and let it cure. Um, and then within about two to three hours, that layer is at least hardened enough to where if you did another layer, it wouldn't sink down. So if I do another project, which I don't think I'm going to do today, but if I was to do another project, I can always just add on top every few hours. I might actually take some of the stones that I had left over from the collaboration piece with Share Bear after this first layer cures. I might actually just set some of the stones in there and then put like a clear layer and let that cure and then add other colors. And that way you get that jagged stone look on the inside, almost like a geode. I might try that because I think that would be kind of fun. So we will see how it goes. You also don't want to let your res light your resin on fire, which I just did for a second there. Okay, well I'm going to keep doing that, but you guys don't need to see that. So we will come back with the next project. And then as we go, we'll watch this and you guys can watch me build it slowly. And then you guys can watch me demold it like we did this one. I actually really like this piece. So there you go. That's what that mold looks like when you demold it. It has some really shiny edges. I may buff it a little and polish it as you would if it was a stone just to get those really crystal clear edges. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you love it. And be sure to check out Libby's Chicken Ranch channel and her videos. And let her know that I sent you her way. Thank you guys so much.